using full stop correctly use a full stop at the end of a sentence that makes a statement there is no space between the last letter and the period use one space between the period and the first letter of the next sentence here is an example the students are busy they are writing a paragraph right now in these two sentences we can find the last word before the period there is no space but before the second sentence begins the first word and the full stop there is a one space and again at the beginning of a new sentence we write the letter capital when the second sentence finishes we put full stop using question mark correctly use a question mark at the end of a direct question for example do you study English does he drink tea are you a student all these are direct questions we should be careful of using question mark at the end of an indirect question if it is an indirect question we cannot put a question mark rather we have to put a full stop let's see the example here are two sentences in a pair the first one he asked me what time it was we can see the question here it is not a direct question but unfortunately some students make mistake by putting a question mark at the end the correct answer here you can find here he asked me what time it was it is not a question rather two clauses are joined together and at the end we put full stop there is another pair I asked him what his name was the same mistake we usually make putting a full stop though it is not a direct question the correct answer should be like this I asked him what his name was and we cannot put a question mark rather we have to use a full stop instead using exclamation mark correctly use an exclamation mark at the end of an emphatic declaration interjection or command for example no do it now in these two sentences we can see the emotion of the speaker he is requesting not to do something here we can see no as if he is shouting to somebody in the second sentence someone is giving order to another person as saying do it now it means he is giving an order to somebody there can be many examples when we speak like that even we write we express our feelings and we put exclamation mark when we write expressing joy hurra and it is the word for expressing joy we won the game here the word hurra is an exclamatory word and after that we have used the exclamation sign we won the game this is an exclamation sign after hurra it is expressing our joy of feelings there is another use of exclamation mark correctly use an exclamation mark after words phrases or sentences to show strong emotion and after an urgent order just now we have seen the examples there are more examples here wow definitely it is something joyful wow tomorrow is a holiday what a nice surprise please help all these sentences are showing strong emotion even an urgent order like help there is an activity for you now 
Put the capital letters in, this, in these sentences, then put a full stop, an exclamation mark or a question mark at the end of each sentence. Here you go. He speaks English very well. Where do you live? There are a lot of books on the table. We were really scared. We don't know when he is free. Activity 2. Read the paragraph, then capital letters, full stops, commas, you have to put. You have to write them in. My cousin is a mechanical engineer in the British automobile of the Middle East in Saudi Arabia. His name is Ali. He is 30 years old. He was born in Dammam. He graduated from King Fahad University. Now he lives in a flat in the center of Riyadh. He likes playing tennis, visiting friends, watching movies, reading books. Using of A or N correctly with the different professions. Let's see the use of A before a profession beginning with a consonant. We usually use A before a word starting with a consonant and the use of an before a profession beginning with a vowel a e i o and u here is an example with a picture ahmed is a driver here the word d the letter d begins the word driver and we definitely have to put a before driver he is a soldier also this word soldier begin with s and it is a consonant and we have to use a before soldier ali is an engineer the word engineer begins with a vowel e and definitely we have to use n before a word begins with vowel he is an accountant the word accountant begins with a and a is a vowel so we have to put an before accountant activity 3 complete the paragraph using a or n here is a paragraph and you can find the gaps before its profession like businessman driver accountant officer typist assistant manager clerk all these are professions and just now we discussed about using of a or n before different professions let's solve it my cousin is businessman here the word businessman begins with a consonant and definitely we are going to use a here he visits the branch offices every week in every branch he has office here the word begins with o and o is a vowel then we are going to put n here other professions like driver begins with consonant d typist begins with consonant t clerk begins with consonant c these are all consonants so we are going to put a before driver typist a typist a clerk for the other professions like accountant we see the word begins with a vowel so we are going to put an accountant officer an officer assistant manager an assistant manager inspector I so an inspector and the last one we can see really my cousin is so we can find good it begins with G it is definitely a before good manager 